Well, hello guys. I hope you're all well. Um, here I am today with another video for you guys. Uh, basically, this time I'm just going to concentrate on two things. Uh, all the people who are experiencing problems with their Outlook or hyperlinks. So, for example, when you receive email and when you click on a hyperlink, it wouldn't just open. It will just give you the following error. Your organization's policies are preventing us from completing this section for you. For more info, please contact your help desk or similar to that. With me, the actual problem was Outlook. So I use my Outlook uh, all of the time um, and it just saves me time. I sync it with my OneDrive. Uh, I'll show you one day how to sync that anyway. And then I was using it perfectly fine. One day, all of a sudden, what happened is just got out of sync and then it wouldn't sync anymore. Every time I try to sync it again with OneDrive, uh, it would just give me the below error so what I did to fix this issue um, I've looked through a lot of videos uh, searched online applied my own knowledge nothing worked for me until I followed um, these three simple steps uh, which really helped me and fix my issue so I'm just gonna um, save you guys all the time which maybe you're trying to fix the issue uh, most of the time if you apply some changes to your registry uh, manually like for example what I was doing previously uh, I was just looking at one video and then it says all you do you go to um, your regedit file and then what you do you rename all the .html files or registry entries to HTML file I did that but then that really didn't work for me for most of the people it did work so you guys can maybe do the same I'll just quickly show you what the fix was um, so all you do is just type run here Ratchet it it will ask you whether you want to open it or not you say yes My system is taking a bit of time hopefully not long there we go so the initial fix was that what you do you when you see this window um, registry editor what you do you go to hkey underscore current user uh, go to softwares and then select classes I've already done that anyway and when you select classes there are a few files here like uh, you will see a few folders named as .html .htm uh, .xhtml .xht uh, uh, so what you do all you have to do is just change the value for all of them like for example .xhtml uh, you come here modify and then uh, type this uh, value html file HTML file click OK I've already done it and then same for dot hxht you come here HTML file um, and then there were a few other files here dot uh, HTML and HTM uh, but it didn't really work for me per, but I've heard most of the people can just resolve their issue by doing this but anyways I'll I'll just show you the fix which really worked for me all I done I just uh, found this website which is this the description is in the link www.msoutlook.info what you do um, you all can follow the they have mentioned three steps in this website uh, but what really worked for me was this last step registry fix so all you go do is just download this registry file once you download it um, so I'll show you what I did so you download it all you do is just run the file once it's downloaded fully okay. run it uh, you will see there are three files here well readme.txt uh, which tells you that if you really have downloaded it from this website it's a malware free version well that's what they are saying so hopefully that what it is um, 
okay so then you got these two files one is for windows 64 and one is for windows 32 bit or 64 bit um if your windows is 64 bit you run this file if your windows is 32 bit you run this file once you run it it's a just just a simple process run next 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 and that's it you will be done and that really has saved the day for me and hopefully this will help you guys as well uh, i hope that i've been helpful to some people out there thank you bye bye